here we are. Welcome to episode three, Whiskey Wheels Wander. We're at Wilkins Greenway Park, or Wilkins Greenway, leads into Fort Yargo. Uh, it's a state park in Georgia. Oh, we got some water up ahead. And if you're up for a free way to get in, it's a mile ride or walk in, mile ride or walk out. But you don't have to pay, which is nice. Today, at the end, we'll be reviewing Redwood Empire Pipe Dream. And, uh, ooh, it's a pretty creek. Got lots of water in here. But yeah, it's, it's a whiskey that I've enjoyed a few times. Um, finally found it. It's kind of hard to find in the area I'm in uh, for, a re for a reasonable price. Finally found one for a reasonable price. Um, yeah. So this is a greenway, like I said, it's, it's a freeway in and out of the park. Um, it is about a mile to get in, mile to get out. It's the same path, so it's gonna be the same. Good grief, there's so much water. Um, but, like I said, it's a nice little skate. Nice little walk. It's all really, really new paved trail. I'm sure you can hear that water, good grief. Um, do get a little bit of speed going down this, so you have to be careful. Excuse me guys, thank y'all. These asphalt wheels, though, they actually handle the water pretty well. All right, it's got a little tunnel right here. It's pretty cool. Oh, they're building a new path over there. There's some rocks. I took family pictures over there one time. It's pretty cool. Some rocks with the creek going over it. Here we go. Pretty little path, winding in and out of the trees. Happen to like it. A few different unpaved trails as well, going off of it. We got a creek right here. It's a lot higher than last time I saw it. It's been raining a lot lately, so. Makes sense, but it has been, that's been pretty low and stagnant in the past. Hmm. We're about three feet deep now. That's pretty crazy, actually. I'll take this little offshoot right here. It's a nice gazebo. So, so it leads into Fort Yargo. Fort Yargo has a pretty sizable lake. Um, and I just dredged it last year. Um, it's probably pretty clean at this point in regards to trash. But this is not easy to skate on. But yeah, it's rather pretty. So this leads straight to the visitor center. Um, and that's it up there. You got a nice bridge going across, leading to some other places. We'll see if we can get over there. Um, but there is also a swimming area here, which is pretty nice. I skimboard. Um, so I go there and practice sometimes when we're not, when it's not beach season. Um, we try to get out to the beach two, three, sometimes four times a year for about a week at a time. Doesn't always end up like that though, but um, go there sometimes during 
off season. Some nice wildlife out here. It's a very pretty park, very serene. Lots of options, there's mini golf, disc golf, tons. Mountain biking courses. buildings. I don't know if they're cabins or what. Pretty sure they are. You can rent them out. But yeah. Only cost five dollars to get in. I think Wednesdays are free. Um, but you can come in this course. Come in this little route. It's free to get in. Feels nice. puppies. We're dog people, me and my family. I love the puppies. Hey, I got some nice fishing over here. Let's see what the paths look like here. Actually get over to the visitor center. Went off course a little bit. Nice little area. It's pretty new actually. Rebuilt it a couple years ago. Give it a more mountain vibe. Let's see. Let's see about skating over here. stairs so yeah it's a pretty area let's go across this bridge let's see what it looks like over here that's what I built last time I was here. Excuse me guys, thank y'all. turn on and go back. We'll find somewhere to do this review. Redwood. Zebo might be the spot, to be honest. I think that is. Right, let's get there. How's it going? Doing well, thank you. 
feel like biking are always so happy. If you're out there to not have a good time, always either training, which you normally enjoy, or riding for sightseeing, which again, you normally enjoy. Just slow down so we don't scare this person coming around this corner. I'm gonna go to this one. Nah, looks a little hard to get to. I don't see any seats. We'll go to the other one. Alright, yeah. We'll go there. Oh, nope, there's someone there. before we uh, started skating. Got to give a little bit of action there. And we just missed our opportunity for sitting in the gazebo. There's someone there now. Find somewhere else. We gotta get to this review. This video's gonna be getting a little long. Beautiful out there. Ooh, there's the puppy again. It's a pretty puppy. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to scare. No, it's fine. <laughs> She's pretty. <laughs> Let's go up here. Oh, side path. Let's see if we got a seat up here. Some cracks. Do a little some jumps here. Oh, many ones. Ooh, we got some pine straw. It's gonna get slick. Is definitely not ideal. Ooh, not at all. And no seats. We have two trunks we can go sit on. It'll be fine. I don't see any. Some mountain bikers over here. All right, guys, a little sweaty at this point, but today we're reviewing Redwood Empire Pipe Dream. Um, it's made by Redwood Empire, I believe it's in California. I could be wrong there. Um, but you're looking at, look at my notes here, 90 proof, 75% corn, 21% raw rye, 4% malted barley. Generally, I find I like um, less barley uh, or malted barley in my whiskey. Right away, you get that classic vanilla caramel. A bit of maple in there as well. Some red fruit. Again, red fruit, lots of fruit, maple. The nose is very similar to the palate, to be honest with you. The nose is very similar to the palate. That's just good. Honestly, I'll be candid with you. I can't really pick out a ton of that. Again, I'm pretty new at this. Um, but I do like it a lot. I'm excited to try more of Redwood Empire, if I'm honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm looking. Um, I know they, their Grizzly is, is very, very sought after, but very good, supposedly. So I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Subscribe, hit that bell, uh, comment, share, all that good stuff. Blades on, spirits up. Cheers, friends. I got that Turn me up.